Hi there friends! My name is Riley Kilo and today I'm going to be reviewing the Depend Protection with Tabs, also known as the Depend 3 Tape Brief. This is a very well known brief and this is not exactly the same as the current rendition that's out. This is maybe one or two renditions before, but many of the things I say about this apply to the current rendition. So I've got my Depends on now and here we go with the review. <laughs> So, in terms of quality, there's a couple main points. Uh, scratchiness is always an issue with cheaper diapers. The inside is scratchy, this plastic, the waistband, everything is quite scratchy. Especially if the waistband hits you kind of in the small of your back. You can just feel it back there all day, just scratching and scratching. Um, it's just not really high quality materials. It's kind of that drier fabric feeling, so it does just itch and wear and kind of there tends to be a lot of extra plastic uh, where there shouldn't be, and there's not enough plastic where there should be. Uh, for example, look at where the pad ends. This is the absorbent stuff, and this is where the actual waistband of the diaper is, because it is three tapes. And again, it's designed to fit a wider audience, um, so it does have the three tapes to fit all sorts of different size. This is the medium, and it's supposed to fit between 19 inches and 34 inches. So it's definitely meant to fit a lot of different body styles. Uh, but this is just too much plastic. It's just, just ridiculous how much there is, and that really affects. It gets bunched up, it starts scratching, and it's a really big deal. And with the three tapes, not only is it... Um, Kind of a nice body hugging feeling, but uh, in terms of quality, the tapes just tend to, out of six, maybe you'll get five on. Uh, when you pull them up like this, they just tend to have the whole thing come with them, so they're pulling the kind of velcro y, um, dryer sheety fabric off with them. So uh, they're just not reliable, they're thin, and they don't stick well. And worst off is when you actually take them off you basically have to pull them down because if you take them off they're gonna rip the plastic and fluff is gonna get everywhere. The leg gathers, they look nice because they're really high but they are really scratchy and before I talk about how bad they are this is what a good leg gather looks like, right? So you have a soft weave here, it's kind of well woven and you can see that there's a lot of different space between them and kind of like a little ruffle to them. So the weave is kind of expertly done. Uh, same here. There's a double weave there. And you can kind of see how there's extra plastic past the woven part. Just so, you know, the uh, moisture and stuff doesn't leak out of the sides. And it just has a little extra comfort plastic there. So with these, you have... A big, kind of scratchy, poorly woven, almost like razor wire uh, aspect to it here. And then the outside cuff is really short. There's not a lot of that comfort fabric there. And you can feel it poking. It's very tough. And the weaving just is very, very close to the end of the plastic. And it looks like somebody cut it out with their scissors. So it's really just not high quality at all. And uh, you'll find the more you wear them, this uh, like uh, padding inside really after you know a couple hours or so it'll start bunching up and you'll have little spots where there's no padding and spots where there's too much padding and that's not even if it's wet or anything that's just the way it kind of bunches up if you're a side sleeper you'll have the same problem so um, overall in quality I give this such a low score because it just is not a quality piece of, of, of diaper it just uh, is scratchy, it's itchy, it uh, is poorly designed because it has to cover such a wide range of people that they're really not reliable. So, uh, speaking of reliability, let's talk about absorbency because that's a uh, that's a big trust issue there. So let's look at the absorbency. Okay, I've got the blue liquid out, and uh, this is about 800, maybe a thousand milliliters uh, or 32 ounces of water. I got that blue water, uh, and. Uh, so I'm just going to pour it in here and see how well it absorbs. Uh, it's really saggy, and it doesn't absorb super great. It doesn't wick quickly or anything, but let's just see. It really sags, and it tends to kind of have that triangular um, thing where the, uh, the padding just... Oh, yeah, this isn't really absorbing at all. 
the padding. This is strange. This is my first time doing this, so. Um, oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. There it goes. Okay. Wow, that absorbed a lot. A lot more than I thought. These are uh, uh, put at about 24 ounces, um, their absorbency, but there's no way you could wear this thing. Um, again, when you wear it, you feel wet. It doesn't really absorb it as much inside, so it you still has that kind of wet, almost like terry cloth feeling to it, which uh, is kind of nice for ABDL appeal, but in terms of actual like protection, it's really low because it'll still feel wet and that wetness will get on your skin, which isn't good for your skin and stuff. So um, it does hold all right, but they're just, just not trustworthy, again, because of the leg gathers and everything like that. So uh, let's talk about how they fit. So as you can see, they have a very traditional kind of hospital diaper look to them. Uh, they're busy and they don't poke out too much in the back and they're very plain and white and the uh, wetness strip is noticeable, but it's not anything special. It's just a really just plain strip. The waistband is so high that it just is too much extra plastic, uh, especially here. Like I said, the padding stops about here and the diaper stops about here. So no matter what weather or whatever, you're gonna feel a little bit of sweatiness here because it's just like you're wearing a plastic bag. And this can be a little itchy and stuff, but this kind of no man's land where it's just plastic is really just unnecessary and it does fit kind of on your hips, but it's just, other diapers do it so much better and it doesn't have so much wasted space. If Even if it was padding there, it would be a little bit more comfortable and it would help protect if you're laying on your back or whatever. Um, but it's just an unnecessary amount of plastic uh, made for the intention to fit kind of a wider audience. So uh, in terms of ABDL appeal, like I said, I like the hugginess, I like the loudness, but the loudness is a, a negative thing sometimes too because they really are, I'm sure you can hear that, they're just super, super noisy, and the tapes pop off really easily, and I don't know if you could see, but um, I've been wearing this for a couple hours since I started doing this video, and um, the tapes are already starting to rip the plastic here, so just putting something on and off, or even just romping around the house, um, you'll find the tapes are ripping the plastic, and will rip it when you're pulling up a garment or whatever, it'll tear the, the tapes off, and you're constantly having to pull the plastic extra plastic down on the sides so the tapes aren't rubbing against your skin. It just doesn't fit well. It kind of has a nice feeling to it, but all things considered, it just is so bound to mess up quickly and to, you know, fall apart that it's just not trustworthy. So for many people, these hold a nostalgic place in our hearts because it was, for many, the first adult diaper that they wore. Uh, so I do like the crinkle of them a lot. I like the hugging feeling and the kind of high waist to them. It's very, very obvious you're wearing a diaper when you're wearing these, and it's very obvious that you're wet when you're wet. So uh, they do kind of hold a medical, nostalgic kind of feeling to me, but at the same time, there's so many great options online, and these diapers just are so poor quality and so likely to leak or fall apart that there's really no place for them anymore unless you can't get online or you're on a budget or you're at CVS at midnight and there's nothing else open and you just need diapers. These will work in an extreme situation, but really there's so many better options online. So I give them two bears out of five altogether, and... Uh, affordable, but really, really, really low quality. So thank you so much for watching and more video reviews soon. <laughs>